with Paragon Films. I am back at the Automation Center with BGR in Westchester, Ohio. I've got Ben Dressler with me again and today we're going to talk about stretch wrapping equipment that is fixed in terms of pre-stretch mechanisms and equipment that is variable in terms of pre-stretch. So we've got some differences in the way these machines are set up in terms of their roll carriage and Ben's gonna give us a little bit of background information on what makes a machine fixed versus what makes it variable in terms of its pre-stretch capabilities. So here we've got a, a high profile Wolf Tech, the fixed pre-stretch machine. What that means is inside your carriage, uh, you've got a pulley system running off your pre-stretch motor and you're fixed at 200%. That's how the machine's ordered. That's how it comes from the factory. If you want to change that, you've got to get your tools out and change some of these pulleys out, remove them, put them back on, and then you're, and then you're set for whatever pre-stretch ratio you want. And you may want to change your pre-stretch to optimize your film. So if you ordered your machine, you're running your standard run-of-the-mill 80 gauge, so you ordered your machine to run that film. Well, now you stepped up to uh, no bowl film or a paragon film and that film can handle much more pre-stretch now you want to change over to a 250 so like I said you just remove your cover get your tools out swap one of the pulleys out now you're at 250 percent on this machine the term toolless changeover is, is likely used here because you're changing your pre-stretch in your in your HMI and the way that works and why you don't need tools because we're running pre-stretch off of servo motors here so you can change that on your HMI. So this is the home screen on the RoboPack 708. This is a variable pre-stretch machine and down here is your pre-stretch level and it's as easy as pressing that. Dialing yourself up in increments of 10. Now we're at 250. This machine can go all the way up to 400 and all the way down to 150. So that's one way to do it. Now, if you want to get variable within your load, you want to turn on what's called cube technology with this machine. And go back to our home screen. And now you pick the pre-stretch for each one of your layers and even each side of your pallet. So whether you want rugged durability with fixed pre-stretch, the technology with variable pre-stretch, both of these machines are more than capable to run a high performance film like no bolt. We want to thank you for joining us for this quick video. We hope you learned something about the differences between fixed and variable pre-stretch. As always, there will be more episodes because there are so many topics for us to cover. So we'll look forward to seeing you again. And as you know, stretch film never sleeps. This is Sean Mitchell signing off for now. Thank you.